Hello everyone, welcome to another Phoenix and Graceful Clouds of Blessing class. Let's begin with right hand in a fist and left hand straight, pulling back the thumb, feet together, hands together and press forwards. Very good. Let's begin by opening one foot to 45 degrees and stepping the other foot forwards with a bit of width. We square the hips and we're just going to roll the boat forwards and back. And breathe. And let's change over. In fact, I'm tempted to do my own wee warm up. The Jade Maiden Holds Pearl, as it does actually, without me realizing at the time, it incorporates a lot of Master Locke's teaching for spine health and general circulation. So let's take a breath and relax down. We'll do that three times, breathe in and out one more time. Lovely, and let's come over to the side. So you may have done this practice before, you may not, it doesn't matter. It's easy to follow. Uh, I designed this form to be able to, for people to be able to just follow without even having learned it much before. That was the principle, that was the idea. So we're going to start with Wuji. We lengthen up through the top of the head, the chin slightly down and back. We're releasing and relaxing down through the body. Just calming yourself down. Letting go. Good, and re let's release belly, hips, knees. Be open to the side, transfer weight, and raising the water. So flowing up to shoulder height and releasing down to belly height. Often in a form, we do this movement once, but you're getting to grips with it and you're warming up. So you can just do a few sets. Good, so this is often called raising the water. And it's a little bit like a wave machine. If you keep facing in this direction, I'll show you from the corner. We think of flowing from the center up over the back, over the shoulders, along the arms to the fingertips and releasing, relaxing down to center. Notice even on this exercise, you have a lengthening the legs, the body, and releasing. Good. All right, so our next exercise is our rolling pin exercise. We're going to slightly triangulate the hands. They're not just straight, they're slightly pointing in. And we're rolling the rolling pin forwards and back. And as you roll forwards, we fill the back gently back and release. Breathing in, expand and release. Breathing out, breathe in, expand. Again, once you get the idea, then we just do multiples of three of everything. Expand and release, expand and release. Now we build on that exercise by turning the waist as you expand, rolling round to the opposite corner and then releasing, coming into center again. Roll the ball round and come in. One more time, roll and come in. Now we add a step. So as we expand to the right, we step left, roll around and that tugs the foot in. And again, we expand, roll around and come in, expand, step. This time on the heel, we pivot as we turn the body feeding the weight into that foot and step forward. There's that same position again, but this time now we do sunshine fills the holes. So forwards and up, back and down. Forwards and up over the front foot, back and down over the back foot. Breathe. Good. And again, once you get the hang of it, we do this three times each. Good. 
and let's throw the ball towards the screen. So if your right foot is forwards, your right hand should be extended forwards and your left hand should be level with your elbow. We catch the ball and we roll it back. Again, I'm mirroring for you. We throw and catch and we roll it back. We throw and catch and roll it back. Now the body remains upright. This is very like blue. It's a loo movement, meaning a roll back or a smooth down. Body stays straight, throw, catch, roll back. Throw, catch, roll back, turning the waist. Throw, catch, roll back. Throw, catch, roll back. Now we have our scoop. The back hand scoops underneath forwards and up, whereas the other hand grips the ball, if you can see, from behind. So this is your Jade Maiden holding pearl. You're holding a ball of energy between the two hands. We feed the weight back, left hand comes back, bring the foot in, step to the side, and onto the final movement of the sequence. Old cat washes its face. So we're turning in the waist and gently patting down through the center line. This is very similar to a move in the 24 form, but it's more prescribed where you're pointing to elbow and pointing to elbow. In this form, we're just sliding down the center line. Good. And with this one, you do as many as necessary to calm your system down before we start again. Good, are we ready? So we're going to start with raising the water. We float up, let's do three, and relax down. Two. And three. Now let's roll the rolling pin. One, two, three. Roll the ball. One, two, three. Add the step. The other side, one, come in, two. On the third step, on the heel, we turn on the ball of the heel to step forwards and through. Sunshine fills the holes, two, three. Throw the ball to screen. Now your left hand should be forwards. Roll it back, two. Three. The back hand scoops underneath. Left hand holds the back of the ball, hold the pearl, feed the weight back, step back and pat down through your center line. Let's do it again. Can you follow me? Ready? And
Last time, ready? Roll catch. Good, let's take three breaths. Hold your breath at the top, press your fingers to the sky, your toes pressing into the earth. Think of sealing in your good energy and release, calming down, guiding your energy to center. Hug your elbows in. Breathing into center. Calming down, feel your body returning to normal breath, normal heartbeat. Very good, and close. Lovely, well done. So that's Jade Maiden Holds Pearl. Basically, it's just a mashup of various Tai Chi exercises that I put together to help people warm up. The idea was to get people who maybe have never done Tai Chi before, getting them moving straight away. If you've noticed a lot of learning, Tai Chi is standing around listening and, and trying to absorb stuff before we do it. And I wanted to have something to hand that we could just do. So I hope you enjoyed it. As you see, it was pretty straightforward. Um, feel free to do your own little variations on the theme. As you saw, I was doing the sunshine fills the holes with the palms facing in. Originally, I was doing more like the, um, the swimming dragon with the palms facing out. Uh, and really, I just changed it to make it even easier uh, for folks who um, were just starting out in Tai Chi. But feel free to do your sort of swimming dragon moves that you're really palms facing out and rotating and more fluid. I think that would be very nice. That was my original uh, plan. Actually, my original plan was more like scooping around a bowl rather than just rolling the bowl. But again, I think for beginners, that scooping around the bowl is maybe a little bit more um, challenging and confusing. But by all means, if you want to scoop around a bowl, I think that would be really lovely. Really, that was, yeah, I might do a, a more advanced video, a more advanced 
version to teach people as well. Master Do Block does that too, that he has the sort of bog standard form, and then he has the performance version where it's bells and whistles and more interesting things happening. So unless there's any questions or comments about that one, let's now move on to the Phoenix. Hopefully you feel the energy flowing. It's nice that way. It does actually get the whole body moving a little bit. All right, so the Phoenix form, shall we just go through from beginning to end three times and see if it gets any more fluid, any easier. Uh, you can take a different focus each time. The focus can be yours, whatever you fancy. Um, a really good one is just posture. If you remember posture, I'll just pull these curtains, cut down on the shadow there. Uh, posture is, is key. So we haven't been doing much standing practice inside this class, but hopefully you are doing a bit every day if you possibly can, because that sorts out so many of the um, alignment issues and it creates power. You actually find yourself feeling powerful as you practice if you have done your alignment practice, but it's not just getting everything in line. It's letting go through that alignment. So you're getting that deep release and therefore the energy flows. Think of every time you relax, let's do it as, we, as I talk, uh, top of the head floating up and feel your body oh, releasing, releasing. Think of it like hundreds, thousands of little gates that are closed inside your body are releasing and opening. And you'll feel a weightedness, a fluidness sinking down, but that's your energy flowing. And once you have practiced that, even for a couple of minutes, it will change the outcome of your practice. If you don't practice standing, relaxation, letting go, calming down, you can still do Tai Chi. The energy will flow a bit, but it's like trying to flow through a bunch of closed gates. You have to keep sort of working your way through them. It's much harder. So you can uh, practice alignment. If you have a cushion, I know most of you are in your sitting room at the moment, you can grab a cushion, you can pop it on your head and try to keep it up throughout your practice. So that is a really good way of making sure you keep the top of your head buoyant and lifted. And that's the only point, the top of the head, that we want to continuously lift as we practice. Everything else we want to hang down away from that point. So this is a practice in Tai Chi called Wu Diu Ding. Wu Diu Ding means don't lose your hat. So if you practice with a little bean bag or a cushion, um, then it will help you focus on keeping that floating up and releasing down. So I know this looks bizarre, but I'm going to have a go at it. And if it falls, oh well, never mind. But uh, it's a really good practice. I would say to you, avoid using the likes of a book or something hard, because if it falls, it could damage you or the book or your surroundings. So you can try this. If you're wanting to help your practice, you can do it in standing practice. That's kind of like a beginner's version, or you can do it through your form. So let's try, shall we? We'll do Phoenix and I'll see if I can not lose my hat. So we start with our heels together, our toes apart, a little bit. We lengthen up and release, relax down through the body. The letting go aspect is just as important when you're doing a Udil Ding practice. You're letting go from the top of your head. Down into the feet, down into the floor, lengthening the fingers down. Calm down. Listen behind. Let's do 
Two. Start. So there you have it. <laughs> I was thinking, let's just take this off so that you can see if I turn my head slightly, it'll go. Yeah. So that's a lovely practice. Bo Dil Ding, don't lose your hat. The Chinese, of course, tend to take it to extremes. And if you've ever seen Chinese circus, uh, it's all about <laughs> using the body in interesting and weird ways and dangerous ways. Uh, and so I've seen, yeah, I've seen uh, it used with a bowl with water on top of the head. So that's taking it even further. So they don't just not want to drop the bowl, but they don't want to spill a drop of water. You've maybe even seen the film The Golden Child, where uh, Eddie Murphy has to carry a glass of water across this cavern of dangerous things without spilling a drop. Uh, and actually, at the end, he drinks it. <laughs> So that he doesn't, at the end, after he's done it all, he drinks it so as not to spill a drop. 
and um, yeah, very clever. But uh, so that's bow dilding. Again, I would not recommend bowls of water and stuff like that balancing on your head. Stick with soft, squishy things like cushions, uh, not even puppies, just go with inanimate objects and, um, and see, see how you get on. But the principle is first to teach you that better posture, to teach you that awareness of gently lengthening up. But that's only part of it. We don't want to be so busy keeping the top of the head up that we add tension. We want to release from that top point down. Everything from that elevated point needs to hang, soften and release down. So yeah, it's something, it's a nice wee game that you can play. It is not something that you need to practice all day, every day of your Tai Chi practice. It is just a technique to um, add spice, add interest, to develop a particular aspect. But remember, posture is key. And that one point, that Bai Hui point, is absolutely key. It must have that lengthened, elevated feel um, in order to open the energy gates for the rest of the body as the rest of the body releases from that point, it creates traction. Okay, so let's now have another go, <laughs> minus the cushion. Uh, we'll do the whole form. Are we ready? Heels together, toes apart. Even without the cushion, let's feel that top point floating up. And from that point, everything else softens, melts and hangs down. Calm down. Listen behind. Ready, let's lengthen fingers down. And we begin.
Excellent. Well done. Okay, folks, I'm going to pause the recording for a second because I want to give you a few seconds to have a little play on your own time, on your own. Okay, so now the group having done a little bit of practice, the question that was added was asked was at the beginning of the form just for clarification. So let's look at the beginning of the form and we'll look at the hands and the feet uh, together. So we have our heels together, toes apart. We begin with Wuji calming down and stretching the fingers down. So the first move, stomach and spleen, we are scooping in and forwards to connect, to feel the tailbone. And your right hand scoops under and the left hand over onto your small ball at belly height, lower belly height. Now we expand and as we turn, we step the left foot forwards to get right hug ball, shoulder and belly height and relax down. And as we turn from center, we expand the lower hand coming up, upper hand pressing down, creating a ball shape and we keep turning, if we can, over the front leg. So we've contained that ball. Notice your top hand is facing in, your lower hand is facing out. But now we release the back foot and with control, we let it come in. And that starts to release the hands, they're untwisting. And we turn and step with that foot, toes pointing forwards. And we've completed the rotation of the hands now into hug ball relaxing down and again the lower hand expanding up the other hand pressing out and again we go through that straight position and keep turning over the front leg so we're filling the back and getting an extra twist to release and float up and over the rainbow and as you feed your weight back bring the foot in with the hand Bring that hand down and step back, floating up at kidney height with the lower hand. We go over the rainbow, open the arms, palms facing each other, right hand in towards the ear. Look to the center point of the palm and press, compress. And we step to the side, left hand and foot. So hands are sitting over the feet. We turn the feet, and as we turn the feet, the hands move with. Again, hands sit over the feet, turning the palms to face up. Left hand, sorry, right hand coming underneath the left armpit, travels along the line, skimming, not touching, of the arm to make a big circle, big ball shape, palms facing up. We release, relax the heart, turning the palms, and feed forwards and down to the level of the heart. Sorry, <laughs> from the level of the heart to the level of the kidneys. So that's uh, like you're holding a ball. If you see the fingers pointing up and you're wrapping around the back of the ball and that's the heart exercise. Good, okay, so that's the first five moves of the form. Let's take a breath. If I show you that again facing you, but we'll just do it a bit quicker so that maybe you can just follow and then I'll flip it round and you can see it from the back view again. Hopefully this will be good reference even as we use the video and um, not necessarily just trying to mirror as we go. Okay, are we ready? We lengthen up and release, relax down. Press the fingers down and begin.
good. Take a breath. Good. For those who have been doing this a little bit longer, I see your technique is very good, though there is a lot of tension. I can see it's quite stiff and quite big. Try to make it a little bit smaller. Remember, extension should be no more than 70%. And I know I'm guilty sometimes of going a little bit longer myself because I have hypermobility. Everything bends backwards with my body. So for me, 100% is, is a lot further. Uh, though I realize that actually I'm still doing 120%, 130%. So we want to keep things round. In every sense of the word, everything in Master Locke's practice and Tai Chi in general, we need to keep round. We don't want to do a full 180 degree stretch ever. There are Qigong forms, there's always, <laughs> there's always exceptions to that rule. Um, but within the format of Tai Chi, we keep it round. So be careful it doesn't get too big. Uh, and more importantly than that is that you're releasing and relaxing, you're softening and stretching through your joints as opposed to pressing and um, forcing the joints to extend. We want to release and through that relaxation, we can then expand. So be careful. You're doing very well, everyone, but it's a little bit stiff, which means there's tightness, which means restriction of energy. So Tai Chi is an internal or a soft martial art, which means that the more we melt into our system, the more the energy can flow and actually the stronger we become. Again, I refer back to standing practice. You're just melting, 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 melting. Suspended from the top, melting, melting, melting. That melting process is just as important as the structure in order to get this amazing power that seems to arise out of nowhere. It's actually all, always in your body, but if you're holding tension, you're holding the power at bay. It can't actually express itself. Okay, let's do it now with a back view. We lengthen up and release, relax down. Melt, melt, melt. Press the fingers down and scoop. Good, and rest. One more time. Just for fun, let's do one more time, but we'll just keep going and we'll go through the whole form. Just do what you can. Remember, Tai Chi is like a jigsaw. You'll net well, like a million piece jigsaw. You'll never get all the pieces in place in one go. No one does. There's always more to perfect and get right. So just do your best and enjoy the process like a jigsaw. Enjoy puzzling it out. Ready? Check posture. Melt. 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 Ah.
make sure everything melts back down towards the earth at the end. Brilliant. Very well done, folks. Well, I think we've had a productive class. I hope you have enjoyed it. We'd better warm down. So let's just take a little moment. Of course, I'd like you to spend a little bit longer warming down if you can, going for a nice gentle walk around the block or even just walking around your garden or if it's raining, walk around the house and just spend a little bit of time calming your system from action into rest, not just stopping, but slowing things down gently. It really does help the recovery process. After any exercise, let's come up again. Good. And up further onto your back, kidneys over the shoulders. Like a pat on the back, say thank you to your body for working so hard. And let's rub the hands vigorously together. We have Mr. Miyagi. We go up and pat downwards. Down the arms, inside and out. Find the body, on the back, the legs. Of any tiredness, any stale energy is leaving you like dust flying away, turning to light. And now let's brush, brush, brush downwards. Give it a bit of a flick at the end, energizing and releasing and relaxing at the same time. Good. Now, from Bai Bing Shao, we go to so Bu Dil Ding, don't lose your hat to Bai Bing Xiao, a hundred ailments go away. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, repeat off the heels and drop, let the body bounce. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and stand. Feel that beautiful bubbly energy flowing. Oh, <laughs> lovely. Let's bring the hands to cover center, folks. Hug the elbows in. Breathing, relaxing into your center. Give yourself that moment of calm. Let your hands guide your awareness into belly. To that tiny center point right in the center of the belly. A prick of light. Hot like the sun. Feel your energy is stronger. Thank you so much for joining me today, folks. Let's salute, please. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Well done.